Aloha Vikings, this is your KVIKS Morning Bulletin. My name is Kylan and here are your announcements for Thursday, September 16th, 2021. The periods today are 1, 3, 5, and 7. Senior Parent Night Replay. Thank you to all the seniors and parents who virtually attended the Senior Parent Night last night. All those who attended and submitted their attendance via Google Form are eligible for a commencement ticket. If you missed the meeting, you can still watch it to see important information from your class council, commencement, and graduation requirements. To watch the Senior Parent Night live stream, please go to our website, hilohigh.org, and click on the Senior Parent Night post, or go to our YouTube and Facebook pages at Hilo High School. Here's what's happening today. NCAA Eligibility Center Registration. The NCAA eligibility meeting is after school today at 2.30 p.m. in the LRC. At this time, please watch the following video regarding proper dress code. Students, your dress reflects the quality of your conduct, your schoolwork, and prepares you for the workforce. When you are out in the community, your dress also represents Hilo High School. All students are expected to dress and groom themselves neatly in clothes that are modest and suitable for school activities. Dress that distracts to the point of interfering with the learning environment will not be tolerated and may lead to disciplinary action. Before we go over the list of inappropriate clothing, here are two things that are absolutely required. Students must visibly wear on their person their school-issued identification card and footwear must be worn at all times. Here are some clothing items that are considered inappropriate for school. Shirt or blouse that exposes the midriff or abdomen or is cut too low at the neckline or back. Tight form-fitting clothes that are too revealing. Loose-fitting clothes such as baggy pants, halters, or tank tops that reveal underwear or torso. Shorts and skirts which are too short. Clothing with graphics or text that promote alcohol, drugs, tobacco, sex, violence, or vulgarity. And any other clothing that is considered inappropriate by school officials. Head covering, things like caps, hoodies, visors, and non-prescription dark colored glasses must be removed in classrooms and instructional settings. Students must not take off their shirt to expose upper bodies, except for during swimming, physical education, and other authorized school activities. Violation of the stress standard, all faculty and staff members are expected to teach, guide, and train students about the importance of appropriate dress in various life situations. In cases where students' dress is grossly unacceptable, a student will be asked to wear a school-provided t-shirt. Repeated violations of the dress standard, despite good faith effort to educate the student, can result in parent-guardian contacts, detention, and eventually suspension on the basis of insubordination. Every effort will be made to explain to the student and parent or guardian why particular clothes are considered inappropriate for the school setting and how this relates to our students' success in gaining and keeping employment in the workplace. An acceptable replacement or cover will be issued by administration and documented in accordance to Chapter 19. For a convenient reference guide and more information on Chapter 19, please visit the Hilo High School website at hilohigh.org backslash HB and click on Dress Standard. Coloring Book Design Contest. The Youth Arts Series is turning five years old next month. To celebrate this milestone, the East Hawaii Cultural Center is inviting Keiki and teens to participate in their coloring book design contest. For more details, visit www.ehcc.org and submit your artwork by October 1st. Posted on the Hilo High School website is the religious accommodation for COVID-19 vaccine memo as well as the request form itself. All student athletes, parents slash guardians requesting a religious accommodation must complete this form and submit the form directly to the DOE Civil Rights Compliance Branch or CRCB Equity Specialist D. Sugihara at d.sugihara at k12.hi.us. All accommodation requests will be decided by the CRCB 
and not the school itself. The CRCB will be contacting each parent slash guardian directly for additional information prior to making a determination. Once a determination is made by the CRCB, CRCB will notify the school as well as each family of the decision. All CRCB religious accommodations decisions will be final and there will be no appeals process regarding the decision. If a religious accommodation is granted, each student athlete will have to provide two negative COVID tests per week. Test results must be submitted to the athletics head coach or to the athletic director. Failure to stay up to date with two weekly negative COVID tests will result in student athletes being prohibited from participating in athletics until test results are brought back up to date. At this time, the DOE does not yet have an approved form for student athlete medical accommodation requests. Once we receive this, we will release this to our families immediately. College visitations. Creighton University will be visiting on Monday, September 20th, 2021 at 1 p.m. during period seven in the LRC. Navy ROT scholarships. There will be a presentation on Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021 at 10 a.m. during period four with Speaker Petty Officer Holly in the LRC. If interested in any of these presentations, see Miss Lawrence or Mrs. Frias in the LRC to sign up. In case you missed it, Senior Mob Shot. The Class of 2022 Senior Mob Shot has been postponed and will no longer be on September 20th, 2021. Stay tuned for more information. School Supply Drive. Attention Vikings, our school supply drive on the LRC's last day will be on Friday, September 17th, 2021. This week is your chance to grab the supplies that you need. There are still school supplies available for you to come down and check us out. You can pick up school supplies during morning, weeky, and lunch. We hope to see you there. PSAT slash NMSQT registration. The PSAT slash NMSQT scheduled for Saturday, October 16th, 2021 is full. Thank you very much for your interest. Here's today's menu. For weeky, cereal and toast, applesauce and fruit juice. For lunch, chicken tenders, steamed rice, steamed carrots, edamame, apple chips, and mixed fruit. Thank you for watching. This concludes today's announcements. Have a great day, Vikings.